everything we know about Pluto today, after 70 years of straining against the distance, uh, you know, everything could fit on a few three by five cars, just a few notes. Alan Stern and his Pluto Underground were determined to persuade NASA to send a probe to Pluto. What this is about is we have to come up with a billion dollars. How do you do that? And uh, the first thing we had to do was to get NASA to make a study. So I went to see the director of uh, Solar System Exploration Division. Uh, I said, somehow I want to ask you. You know, I was a graduate student at the time. He said, what's that? I said, uh, there's a group of us that are I'd like to know why you've never studied a mission to Pluto. And he said, well, nobody's ever asked me that before. He said, maybe that's a good idea. How many people are interested? I said, uh, you know, it, it's, it's really exciting stuff. There are a lot of people who are interested. He said, prove it. Here we are, Launch Complex 41. The Pluto Underground undertook a mammoth letter-writing campaign. They finally convinced NASA to give Pluto the same treatment as the other planets. See the sign on the side of them, they're ready to fly. It says loaded. Yeah, Manny, do you, do you know which boot is being replaced? Uh, now. Tony, one of you guys know? Is this one? It's ripped, but it's up there. Yeah, but not gonna be 16 years after the Pluto Underground was born, Alan Stern was no longer the disgruntled graduate student. He was head of NASA's most adventurous scientific mission. Come out here, you can look up, you see about, oh, maybe 30, 40% of the way up the vehicle. That's 21 stories high. It's 205 feet to the tip. They were about to embark on a 10-year journey to the littlest planet. This is the tip of the spear. The spacecraft is sitting here inside the nose cone, so to speak, inside the fairing, sleeping, unpowered, waiting for us to um, power it up for liftoff. As far as NASA was concerned, planet Pluto was very much on the map. It's a little surreal. Uh, there's not much time to contemplate. There's a lot to do still. It should feel more momentous, but uh, I don't think I'll feel it's real until I see it fly. What are you going to do for the 10 years till it gets there? Vacation in Spain. <laughs> <laughs>